My roots are so bad. <laughs> Yummy. Hello, so for today's video, I thought we'd do something a little bit different. Uh, so I'm gonna do like this squared rainbow eye thing. I, I don't really know. It's just gonna be rainbow, it's gonna be cute, and we're gonna have maybe some little gems on it, maybe, depending how I feel. But yeah, let's get started. So, I'm freezing cold and I'm wearing a top. Like, I'm like, I'm so cold. And then I wear tops that are like no sleeves or anything like that. Like my chest is all out of my arms and I'm like, I'm freezing. So, eyebrows are already done uh, because it's boring, no one's see it. And I think, I'm pretty sure this one's longer than this one at the minute. I need to go ahead and wax a bit more off of it and stuff. But I'm just gonna highlight underneath the brow bone. So I'm gonna take the Ofra and Nikki Tutorials highlighter. So this is in Glazed Donut. I don't know why I looked because I know what it is. And I'm going to take the Crown Rush C510 and put that on. So how I'm going to do this, I'm actually going to take tape and I'm going to cut the tape thinner so I can like almost do a square shape um, around the eye. Obviously, if you wanted to do it freehand, you could. I just, I'm, I can barely draw on wing line liner and like even that's not straight. So trying to draw straight lines in square, it just ain't happening. So tape's my option here um so yeah it's literally just a bit of tape so what i mean is i'm going to take this and i'm going to cut little sections rather than having one big chunk so i'm going to go ahead and do that and then we'll come back and i can show you what i'm actually doing or done okay so obviously you can't really see that much of it um i probably should have filled in my eyebrows after i've done this because obviously i've got a little bit of tape on it but obviously you can see slightly see it's a square i haven't come down the lower lash line we're just gonna keep it in like this box area obviously this is gonna bunch because of how my eye sit so i have to make sure that my eyes lifted just so i can get the color in there and then we should be okay so for base i'm just gonna take the cover effects power play concealer so this is in the shade and light one and um my eyelids are like super oily um so eye primer isn't really doing it for me lately the nars one is but there's no pigment in that one like i know they do pigment ones now um but obviously i don't have it so i'm just going to take this because this is what i like um with this because you've got the tape now you could be as messy as you wish so i'm just going to take that on a kyma brush as well so this is from kyma cosmetics they do lovely little brush collection it's super cute it's all just nice and sparkly so i sort of was looking at this this is my hand but basically my curtains where the sun shines through my window i have like curtain holders they're like little diamonds like i say well they're not little, well, not diamonds but you know what i mean like little gems and they reflect like rainbows in my room and i thought how cute would this be like on the eyes but like as a square kind of thing and that's why i sort of wanted to do it like this um i just think it's going to be super cute this bit of tape is annoying me though and then the palette we're going to use today is the milk cosmetics radioactive palette so this has basically got all your rainbow shades in it this is a super beautiful palette i love this but it will stain the eyelids i'm warning you now because they're pressed pigments they're not eyeshadows but when i tell you they are gorgeous so i mean gorgeous like melt cosmetics makes the most beautiful eyeshadows this and the baby girl stacks probably like my two top favorite modern love i'm like a bit hit and miss with i did do a whole like dedicated three days to it so i'll leave that in the little eye if you wanted to go and check that out um but modern love i was i need to play with it more i feel like um so i might stop doing that because you know everything that's going on so I'm going to start off by taking Radioactive in the palette, which is this shade right here. Obviously, they don't really have a blue. The sort of only blue that they do have is this shade, which is more greeny. Um, but I feel like we can sort of skip blue in this. So I'm just going to take that on the Spectrum A16. And I'm really going to pack this on with this brush. And then we can sort of do a bit of blending with a different brush that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to pack this on the first bit. Make sure I keep my eye up just... Well, I'll do this. Obviously, any mistakes I can clean up with, um, like a eyeshadow or anything like that, a wipe, that kind of thing. 
Some of these are glittery and some of them are matte, but they don't really come off shimmery. Um, I think it's probably the way you apply it as well. But yeah, I just love this palette. Like here, obviously I've stuck a bit of tape there and it's not going to go into a fully square, but I can just sort of draw that back in later anyway. Then I'm just going to take a Chroma C4... C528, sorry. I don't know what a C436 is. I think that's my highlight brush. I'm just going to sort of take a little bit more product and just blend that through as well. We want this to be really pigmented and really pretty. And then I'm going to keep this trusty little thing near me. So this is the colour switch. Um, so basically, obviously it's dirty, but you just swirl your brush in and it gets off the pigment. Um, so you can go ahead and obviously use your brushes. Um, yet again, without obviously cleaning them or using... 10 different brushes because I know well I know I have a few of the spectrum ones but that's because I love them but I know I don't have like five different brushes like yeah I have two of these so but I know like you know if if I find a brush like I'm very true to that brush if I love it like that's it it's locked and loaded with me so now we're going to move over and take the orange shade in the palette, which is this gorgeous one right here. I'm just going to pack that on next to the pink. I'm doing the same thing with the crown brush. You can hear that, that's my washing machine. I'm just doing the same thing. I'm sort of just blending it over slightly to the pink. I'm not going to blend too much because, I don't know, like, I don't want it to be super blended, um, but I definitely want a bit of work in there I'm just going to clean it and go into the pink so I'll just drag that over to the orange slightly now I'm going to take the yellow in the palette which is this gorgeous shade right here taking that same brush that I've already cleaned it again and just packing that on next to the orange and the same thing with the crown brush just packing on that yellow See, I'm conflicted where or not to take the green and the greeny blue and then the purple or just stick with this and go in with the purple. Tell you what, yeah, let's take a bit of the green as well. So I'm going to take, obviously, this green here first and I'm going to take that on the same brush. Yet yeah, again, it's getting cleaned before we pack it on. Then the same thing with the crown brush and the green. I'm going to move over and take this shade right here. It's like this mm, it's bluey green. I say like turquoise. I love this kind of colour. I think it's so beautiful. I'm just going to pack that on next to the green. Doing the same thing with the brush again. The uh, crown brush. We'll sort of fix it as we go along if we want to add more colour and, and such. So now we're going to take this gorgeous purple shade at the end and the same spectrum brush, crown brush again. Okay, and this is where we can sort of go and perfect any smaller details if we want to add more colour, if we want to sort of blend. So I did like to take the brush and just sort of, so it's clean obviously, there's nothing in it, and I sort of just drag the colour over like using the tip and I feel like that's good so I'm gonna remove the tape so we can see what this looks like obviously with this I might have to take the purple and just draw a little line but obviously be careful using tweezers near your face if you're gonna do it like this and then this is what we have. So obviously I did have a bit of tape on the pink and then on the purple. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill that in. So I'm just going to take a fine liner brush. So this is from Real Techniques. And we're going to go ahead and take that pink shade. And be very, very careful how we do this. I'm just doing the same thing with the purple. Okay, so this is this eye done. So obviously I need to clean up some of the mess and stuff because obviously we've had a little bit of fallout. But I'm going to do the other eye off camera as well. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick with like how I've done it this way. I was going to do like purple, green into pink, if you know what I mean. But I feel like if we keep it the same, it'd be cute. 
So I'm gonna apply it lashes and mascara as well. So for mascara, I'm literally gonna use the KBD Go Big or Go Home mascara. I stayed in lots of videos before. She no longer owns it, so I'm happy to use her brand. And I'm gonna take these lashes. So these are from Unicorn Cosmetics and these are in the style Cherry Top. I love these lashes. They are super gorgeous. They go with absolutely every look. So I'm gonna do that. We'll come back and then we'll move on to the base. Okay, so lashes are on and I love it. I think it's super cute. So we're gonna move on to base now. So I'm gonna take the Nip and Fab a Rose Gold Essence. I love this. It's like hydrating, it's just goodness. Yeah, it's beautiful. So I'm just gonna take a few jumps into the palm of my hands. Four should be enough. And just put that on the face. Obviously, you could go ahead and take a moisturizer if you really wanted to. I'm not really a primer sort of person. I prefer a more hydrating sort of primer or a serum as such, but I feel like my moisturizers for my skincare, not for my makeup. Um, so that's why I don't really use it. And plus it's just one of those things I like to let sink in, apply SPF and then go ahead and sort of do this. And I'm gonna take the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. So this is in the shade Porcelain. And I still look at the names, even though I know the names, but I'm just gonna swipe this on the face. I love this, this is like my holy grail foundation. It is beautiful, it's flawless, it's everything I want it to be in a foundation, and I nearly just dropped it. <laughs> and then to blend that out, I'm just gonna take the Tarty Beauty Blender Full. I do like to use a sponge, but if I'm perfectly honest, I just can't be bothered to go and want it. So I feel like this is the closest thing I'm gonna get to sponge sort of applicator. I mean, I don't mind it with a brush, but they do recommend a brush, but I just don't know. I just always prefer it to think just, just without a brush. And then for concealer today, I'm gonna to take the Revolution makeup so this is the conceal and hydrate and this is in c1 so i've said this plenty of times but i prefer the conceal and hydrate one over the conceal and define one so i'm just going to take a little bit of that on the under eyes she says a little she means a lot i'm just going to take it on the forehead down the nose kiss his eye and then a little on the chin and while i let that dry i'm just going to take the rimmel instant duo contour stick so this is in light and i'm just going to draw around the forehead the cheeks draw a line it'll be unlit and i'm just going to take a luxie brush so this is with jay wady and this is the is it the 182 Yes, the 182, it's still a nose contouring brush, it literally looks like so. And I'm just going to take the more dense side and go ahead and contour my nose a little bit, I guess. And then I wipe away just the excess on the back of my hand and just blend out slightly with the more dense side that we used. And then I just take the fluffier side and just sort of buff that through properly. I'm just going to blend out my contour using the blender full. Then I'm just going to blend out my concealer using the exact same sponge. So I just flip the blender full around. So now we have a clean surface. So I'm just going to pack out my under eyes with my. Well, actually, I'm going to load this up first. And then just pack my under eyes just to make sure everything's really smooth. And then just go ahead and press that in. When I'm using the blender for, I do like quite a bit of powder. For some reason, I just feel like it goes on better, it goes on smoother with a blender for, and you can sort of just really push it into the skin. I'm just gonna take a pit, a pit, a bit down the T zone. So just stamping that in to the forehead. No, 
this one and then the chin so now I'm going to take the position I can never say this positions 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 but a bronzer thing it looks like, <gasps> it looks like this <laughs> and this is in the shade bronzer oh, that could have been a disaster and uh, I'm going to take that on a spectrum co7 I hate the smell of this and I thought it smells so good <laughs> where the hell have you been because it does not smell like vacation it smells like self so I'm just gonna dust that around the forehead and the cheeks okay so I'm gonna go back into my highlighter so this is the crown brush c529 and obviously we're gonna take the Ofra highlighter and I'm just gonna load up my brush and I'm going to spray my face first. So this is the Revolution Skincare Hyaluronic Hydrating Essence Spray. This is really nice. It's like Mac Fix Plus, but better and cheaper. And while our face is wet, we're going to apply the highlighter because I want it to be really intense, like my love for five sauce. <laughs> I mean, over is intense anyway, but like, ba bam. And on the Spectrum A12, I'm just going to take a bit on the inner corners and then a little bit down the nose as well. I could be the moon right now. <laughs> that might be too much. <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to go into blush. So this is the Nip and Fab Basic Beach Palette. And I'm going to take these two shades. So this is Coral Queen and Pink Lagoon. And I'm just going to take that on the Spectrum AO5. So I'm going to take quite a bit of Pink Lagoon, which is the middle shade. Because um, I really want a blush, blush look. And then I'm just going to take Peachy corally whatever it was <laughs> coral queen just to tone it down just a little bit so i'm going to apply the blush sort of across my nose as well because i love that like it sounds awful but it's like sunburnt but it's not sunburnt's obviously not cute it's not good um i, I don't know <laughs> but it just looks cute <laughs> i'm just going to take my blend form and just sort of push that into the skin so I'm just going to take the Kat Von D or KVD, whatever, go big or go home mascara. So I'm just going to apply that to the lashes, the bottom ones, but you're not going to see any of this. You're literally going to see the top of my head. So I'm just going to add a few gems to the lower lash line. Uh, I say lower lash line, I mean like under eye sort of bit, just to add a bit more sparkle, I guess. So I'm just going to take the NYX Glitter Primer do a few dots on where I sort of want it um, and then I'll go ahead and add like these sort of big gems you can get these anywhere Amazon eBay they all sell them so yeah I'm just gonna do that so I wasn't recording that so obviously the gems are under and I think they're super beautiful so lips are literally so simple so this is the arrow boost color enhancing lip balm it's literally just a balm that's like tinted almost i think it's one of those lip balms you know ah oh, that's a fenty loss um they're like enhances with your natural heat or something and it changes the lip color obviously it's just this really pretty pinkish color i love it and then on top is the fenty gloss so this is the gloss bomb in i don't like that in glass lip art it's doing that do you get your lines like goop the other one doesn't do that like the um oh my god it was really sticky <laughs> i don't know how i feel about that i think i'm gonna have to play around with this more obviously it's super glossy and it is just gorgeous like the fenty it's fenty glow is in it yeah that doesn't do that and neither does the diamond milk one that's a really nice one but i don't know why this is so goopy maybe because it's clear obviously when you talk you can see all the lines and it's, it's frustrating but another good clear gloss is the glossier one but that could honestly be anywhere right now it's probably in one of 10 handbags or in the drawer somewhere so yeah this is the completed look so i hope you enjoyed i love it i think it's super cute it's just super fun obviously this eye is not even to this eye but 
we just don't care in this household so yeah 